YouTube. I am headed out to the garden to continue to work on some fall cleanup. Um, in years past, my fall cleanup has consisted of about two solid days worth of work and I was able to get it all done. Um, this year's a little different. This is the biggest garden I've ever had. It's also the weediest mess I've ever had to clean up because I was so sick all summer with my pregnancy that it just basically got neglected. And I am 31 weeks pregnant and it's just hard <laughs> to clean this up. Um, so I'm taking it day by day. I have a lot left to do. And uh, as you can kind of see, if it gets done, it gets done. If it doesn't, spring will be here at some point. Um, but I want to get as much done before then as I can, because obviously this spring I'll have a fairly young baby in addition to all my other responsibilities. So I want to tackle as much of this as I can. I'm going to flip the camera around and show you kind of what my goal is and we'll see how far we get. Okay, so what you can see, I've got some tarps that I need to get cleaned up and put back in the barn, but I've already cleaned out the tomato rows. They were right here. That was a solid day worth of work for me. Um, next, what I really want to tackle is over here where all of my sunflowers were. I want to get all of the sunflowers cut out. And so this is where the sunflowers were, right in here. I want to get all that cut out. And these were my zinnias. I want to go through I have already saved some seed, um, and I don't know, some of these might be too far gone, but I'm gonna try and save some more seed as well, and then chop all the zinnias out. So, that doesn't sound like a lot, but at 31 weeks pregnant, I think that's a lot of bending over and pulling on things and cutting things. So we'll see how much I get done. If I'm able to get all the sunflowers done and all of the zinnias done, and I still have energy and feel like I'm not overdoing it, I will move over here. This is where I had um, marigolds and asters and celosia. And if I can get all that cut out, that'll really make me feel like I've made quite a bit of progress. That'll only leave about a quarter of the garden left. So that's the goal. I'm probably not gonna do a whole lot of filming because I forgot to charge my phone last night and it's almost dead but uh, I'm gonna get to work and I'll show you bits and pieces kind of as I go and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so it took me about 30 minutes and I got all of the sunflowers out. Um, this is the pile behind me here and I'm gonna take a break get something to drink and then something to collect zinnia seeds in. I'll collect the zinnia seeds and try and get those all pulled out. Okay, so I went inside, I got a drink of water. I grabbed a five gallon bucket and some scissors. I clipped as many of the zinnia heads as I thought were actually viable um, and put them in a five gallon bucket. And now I am just going to chop all these zinnia plants out, put them in a pile um, to go down to the brush pile in the pasture. So that's probably all I'm gonna get done before lunch. It's going on 11.30 now. And then probably what I'll do is take a lunch break and I'm not feeling too bad. So I'll probably will come out and finish that third section that I didn't know if I was gonna to get to. Uh, but I will update you and show you what it all looks like when I get done. I was able to get all three sections done that I wanted to get done today. I'm pretty tired now. 
So I'm gonna go inside. I've gotta get cleaned up. We've got a church event tonight. And so I'm gonna go to that. But um, I feel pretty good about the work that has been done. And Kyle and I are considering putting the cows in and letting them eat up the majority of the grass and the, the weeds and everything and just see if that helps. Um, we haven't made up our mind entirely. There's some pros and some cons with that, but if I decide that we are gonna do that, um, I will update you in another video, but I'm pretty pleased with the work that got done for today. And uh, I'm gonna go rest. So I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.